So uh, Lori is a former critical care ICU nurse currently working in nursing informatics. So I can't wait to learn from you and so many others are excited to tune in. So Lori, could you just introduce yourself? Well, hi everyone. Um, I'm Lori Lineweaver. I am um, a nursing informaticist and I've had that specialty for about seven years. Um, I've been in executive leadership um, in a, and built an informatics department, and now I'm working for the federal government with the Cerner deployment. Really interesting. So you have a lot of background, including working for the board, or uh, maybe not working for, but being part, an uh, active part of the nursing board, as well yes. as the American Nursing Association. Um, how did these roles help you or how do they play into your role as a nursing informaticist? Well, I think um, like a lot of really great things in life, I kind of fell into informatics. Um, it wasn't something that I sought out on a job to do. Um, and my background is in critical care. And then, then I have a master's in nursing education and I taught for a while. Um, and I still really enjoy that, but not quite as much. Um, I liked being in positions where you could question the rules. Mm -hmm. Um, like you'd sit on the floor and you go, this policy is super stupid. I don't know why we do this. Um, and so I started doing organizational things to start um, influencing the rules and then realized that there were bigger powers that influenced the policy. And I got into um, health policy and started doing more legislative and board level, state and federal level initiative works. So I have a strong background in regulatory compliance, scope of practice, um, not primarily among nursing staff, like who can do what, where, when. Um, and I have um, a really strong background in patient safety and all of those things played in um, to being really good at informatics. So I kind of got there with being voluntold, like, hey, we're gonna deploy this huge EHR and you should manage the clinical content. Um, and that, led to crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. So those of you that are just tuning in, I'm so glad you've joined us. If you have a question, get to in the comments, go ahead and type it in there and I will get to it as it flows throughout our conversation. Okay. So, you know, a lot of people have interest in, okay, what is available to us as nurses outside of the bedside scope? Um, yep. Do you feel like nursing informatics as a whole is a good place for a new grad to start? Nursing informatics is probably not the best place for a new, like a brand new nurse to start. Okay. Um, the best nursing informaticists and really mature systems that like are really using them to their full potential are really clinical experts. Um, they know clinical practice well, they know their area of practice well, and they can translate um, kind of the science of nursing practice and the art of nursing practice, it, even in specialties that they never worked in. Um, and so to do that, you have to reach a certain level of in-depth understanding of how we do things and how we should do things. Um, it also, again, really helps to have a strong background in knowing the rules, um, knowing what you must do, um, because if you know what you must do, then you can make systems work for you. That's really good points. So if someone is interested in nursing informatics and they would like some stepping stones that you advise they take, what would those primary stepping stones be? Well, I think every hospital system um, or every organization, not even hospital system, has got some form of electronic record. Mm -hmm. uh, the High Tech Act mandated that we all, if we wanted to get Medicare dollars, and I don't know an organization around that doesn't like them, um, had to do a big electronic health record. And some people have gone with Cerner and some have gone with Epic. Some have, are still on all scripts or um, other small niche systems. Mm -hmm. But the best thing that you can do to start out with one is lean into that system. Become the super user, become the go-to person um, in your department, in your area that really focuses on um, using the system right, mm -hmm. using the system to the best of its abilities. Um, and if it's set up in your organization and most have it, participating in those governance councils that really do suggest changes to make your work easier. That's good. So first and foremost, be a super user and move on. From Absolutely. The, yeah. I like Being that. a super user and coming up with great ideas um, will open the doors. 
Yeah, that's good. That's good. So what is exact your role and how does that training process work? Well, I have to say that training processes for nursing informatics, there are um, degree programs available. So there are bachelors, oh. there, if, which have a BSN, there are master's and doctoral programs available in nursing informatics. Um, I frankly have neither. Um, I had no formal education in informatics. My master's is in education and my doctorate is in health policy. Okay. Um, but... Um, there's, so there's formal education programs that can help you feel what it's for. Um, and then really a lot of it is on the job training. Mm -hmm. You have to really know the system that you're using and not only the electronic medical record, but um, informatics encompasses everything that's clicky. Uh, so a doctor once dubbed me the clicky nurse. And every time I came into a meeting, I was the clicky nurse. But the <laughs> clicky nurse is the cardiac monitors, the IV pumps, all the equipment that goes into a patient, barcode scanning, anything that's technology that surrounds how you do your work, how we um, design internet spaces, how we design shared network drives for information, how you give people in, like the information that they want when they want it, all of that is part of informatics. Um, and so you can, you can come in with expertise or you can just build it as new stuff comes along. And this is a t primarily a tech-driven role. So, you know, gosh, a new program comes up every day. I think we're on one that I didn't know existed that I think is working pretty darn smoothly. And I'm going to see if I can co-opt this for some other things. That's really neat. So it sounds like your role is pretty all-encompassing, but do they niche you down at all? So are you, for instance, just on the Cer Cerner team, or how does that work? Because that sounds really overwhelming. Um, I think it depends on how the individual organization has done things. Okay. Um, my role in the federal government is pretty new, like five months. Uh, but prior to that, I was uh, the director of executive practice, uh, uh, clinical practice and informatics, and it was all encompassing. Wow. It was uh, really trying to enhance nursing practice and get technology out of the way when it needed to be and into the way when it was helpful. Um, so it depends on what the organization has done. Some have informaticists that focus only on um, barcode medication scanning. And some have the ones that just do IV pump integration. And, yeah. But it depends on what resources you have and how big your organization is and how they'd like to do it. And if you have a better way to do it, um, gosh, you can find yourself with more projects than you ever dreamed of. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I can't imagine having it all encompassing, but um, to be niched down and really tune in on a couple of projects seems so fulfilling. But uh a, a, a question came in asking, do you feel fulfilled in your work in informatics? So I think as I think the question was more gauged, like at the bedside, you get that instant gratification seeing, you know, you catch that med error or whatever it is on your shift, right? And so you get that instant fulfillment or instant gratification. How does that translate in the role of nursing informatics? Um, I think you have to like flip your paradigm a little bit. It's not so much about seeing the result of something you did. It's about not seeing it. Um, so the best day and the best sense of fulfillment is when somebody doesn't even realize that you did a change or that the change that you did was so intuitive um, that they didn't mind. Ah. So if you think about things like when Apple does major system updates to their phone, uh, they've done it once where people had like a major meltdown where it just didn't work and it was super glitchy. But most of the time the update comes through your phone. It's got some new fun stuff on it. You might discover like you've got a new emoji that you can make your own face and that's kind of cool. Yeah. But for the most part, the changes only enhance your experience. They don't subtract from it. Um, and so the best fulfillment in informatics is almost like a vaccine. Um, if you don't hear anything, you've probably done a really great job. That's a good enough. Nobody's, nobody's dying and gnashing their teeth. Your job is successful. That's awesome. So would you say you're still, you're still helping patients because you're helping your staff. How does that translate for you in terms of 
being an active part of the team. I mean, I see it, but those of who, those nurses who are kind of sketchy about getting into this field and wanting to still help patients, how would you encourage them? Well, I would say there's a portion of nursing informatists that's also patient facing. So every, um, lots of big organizations have patient level portals uh, mm. that get set up where you can view your information, you can contact your provider, Mm -hmm. um, that's all the purview of nursing informatics as well. Um, sometimes you do focus groups with patients. Sometimes you are the patient. So like right now I'm the patient and I'm giving feedback to the organization I used to work from like, Hey, now that I'm using this, it would, I know it can do this. It would be really cool if you turn this feature on. Wow. Um, and so there is direct, uh, patient experience enhancement, um, and anytime that you do things, it's not just about what clinicians click, it's anytime that you make the process easier, you make it easier to register, you give better education to the patient when they need it. Um, you make their billing correct. Hmm. Like when they get a bill, that bill is right and it encompasses all the charges and those charges flowed correctly and took into account their insurance. There are nursing informaticists that fo focus primarily on revenue um, and I think all of those things are needed um, to enhance a patient's total experience because it's not just about that moment in the bedside. They were well or maybe sick before they came into a hospital. They came into a hospital and then they went home and they'll continue to live their lives and they'll need a lot more from us along a continuum. Yeah, you've I've learned so much in our short few minutes here. Um what does a typical day look like for you from start to finish? Well, you have to like meetings. Ah. I mean, I think that that's one of the things you have to like. You have to like um, talking to people and you have to have um, pretty thick skin to hear people's issues and not take mm -hmm. them personally. Um, and to really try to understand where they're coming from. Yeah. Um, and then correctly convey when you can't fix the thing that they want so desperately. Um, so you have to like meetings, you have to like technology, and you have to be a good user of it. You have to be able to manage yourself electronically um, and be a good communicator. So my days look a lot like lots of emails, lots of meetings, and then lots of one-on-one -on -one conversations and observations of trying to understand how people do work so that we can fit technology in around it. That's interesting too. So what would you say the challenges or stressors, maybe the top three challenges or stressors that are brought to you from your daily job? Um, I think anytime that we put technology and it's in the way, um, and I'll be super honest and I'll say the thing that nurses say out loud, regulation gets in our way a thousand times. Um, I think we find about 10% of our total documentation meaningful. Um, and about 90% of it is just required. Not that we would sit in a room and choose to do this if we had a choice, um, but it's a requirement. And so trying to understand how to make all those requirements fit and be as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other portion of it is sometimes warding off special interests. Um, I think during the last five years, if I had a thousand conversations on every specialty group that wanted to add something to the nursing admission documentation, um, they would like you to screen for sleep apnea and aortic aneurysms and you, you name it, they wanted to screen and you fighting that off from the standpoint of nursing is sometimes very politically challenging as well as personally frustrating and challenging. Yeah. That's true. Kind of, their work is still important, but it's not important on admission to the hospital. Yeah, for sure. So what would you say a nurse coming into this field, um, if you could choose some characteristics that might be applicable or helpful for you, uh, not you personally, but as a nurse informaticist, how would you describe those characteristics? I think self-motivated. Mm -hmm. um, this is not a job that you understand that um, Monday looks like this and Tuesday looks like this. And if you complete this amount of widgets on Tuesday, you've had a like a successful day. Um, so flexibility, you have to be okay with changing priorities. 
So as an example, we had a whole uh, plan for the first quarter of 2020, like all the things that we were going to accomplish um, and all the systems that we were going to turn on and all the work observations that we were going to do and document during the first quarter. And then this little thing called COVID happened. Yeah. Um, and it kind of tore up all those plans and had a, made us refocus on things that we frankly had not thought about. And you have to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not even as something as glorious as a pandemic. Um, it's oftentimes just simple things like the Department of Health came in that day and now your whole day is derailed. Yeah. Um, you have to go in and explain documentation and pull records. Um, so flexibility is really important. Um, attention to detail is super important. You have to be kind of one of those type A people that like to dot all the T's and cross all the I's. Um, and I think, gosh, the most of it is just dreamers and creativity. Um, the people that question everything. Yeah. Why do we do this? Why do we have to do it this way? Can we do it someplace different? Can why does it have to work like that? Um, I think those are the people that do really well in this field. That's great. So where all do nursing informaticists work? The hospital setting, where else? Give me, do you have any other um, locations or, or facilities that using nursing informaticists? Oh gosh, um, yeah, everywhere. I mean, you think of it and they want us there. Um, <laughs> So hospitals are certainly organizations, software companies, um, anything with a button would probably want a nursing informaticist employed in some way. Um, wow. So IV palms, um, vendors, um, content vendors, so places like um, Elsevier and Lippincott um, use nursing informaticists a lot um, to design their content and their platforms. Drug companies, um, Things like Sanofi and Pfizer use nursing informaticists or what they call them health IT informati informatics to design um, different platforms and different ways of engaging through technology. So if you have a clinical license and you're good with the clicky, um, gosh, it, the opportunities abound. And if they don't exist today, I bet they will tomorrow. That's really neat. I had no idea that they were so vastly used. I, I didn't know that. What would you say you're most excited about for your career going forward? Oh, I think, um, I don't know where my career is going to take me. I don't think it's probably a be all end all in informatics, but I think I'll take little pieces of it um, and hopefully make the practice of nursing easier. Um, get the obstacles out of people's way and let them do what they really came to this profession to do, which was to help patients in whatever capacity and whatever role that is. Um, and so the more we can leverage technology uh, to make it easier, um, I think the better off we're gonna be, that's where I wanna be with it, is just leveraging it to make it easier. That's awesome. Well, I don't see any questions coming through. Diane said she loves nursing informatics. I think a lot of people learned a lot, just like I did. Um, do you have any final closing statements about nursing informatics that we didn't already cover? No, I think um, anybody that's interested in careers away from the bedside, this is definitely one that you should pursue. I think there are three main venues out of the bedside at this point. One is education, one is management, and the other one is informatics. Um, and I think um, it's a worthwhile endeavor to pursue. That's so great. Well, I appreciate your time, Lori, and I am um, so thankful. Megan chimed in and said thank you so much. That it was very interesting. Very welcome. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate your time, and I appreciate all the work you're doing to make our job easier. You're welcome. All right, guys, have a great night and stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs>